I believe staying uncomfortable will allow me to achieve success. So let me tell you how. So sleeping on couches can be uncomfortable to some, right? But this is where I slept most of my years. I had a bed, but I barely slept in it. I wanted to go beyond where I was currently, beyond where anyone has ever reached before. So I subjected myself to discomfort in order to keep myself as a reminder where I wanted to go. As I achieved like these different milestones in my whole entire life, I delayed myself to actually appreciate those different things. In short, this is my way of delaying gratification. I'm not exactly sure where I got this from, but let's see. Ah, it was my fourth grade year. I was having troubles with my timetables, you know, one times one, two times two, three times four, and all this other stuff. I cried about it a lot because the feeling of not getting was uncomfortable. Not being able to grasp the concept that I needed to grasp in order to go to the next level. Until that point, everything was coming essentially easy, for the most part. But it ignited something in me. Hunger. Which reminds me. Yo, it's been about jealous time. It's off the chain, though. Best. So when you're hungry, it could be uncomfortable. I believe the people who want it the most in the world are the most hungry to achieving their goals. My undergrad years was the most uncomfortable years in so many different ways. It was uncomfortable due to the lack of diversity. This led me to finding other people like me in this particular field in order for me to keep going. Because this Africa proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I wanted to go far. It was also uncomfortable due to the lack of money during that time. Because my scholarship only covered fall and spring semester. It didn't cover summers. So I had to figure out how I was going to deal with the rest. This led me to doing work study, research assistant jobs on campus. And... Yeah, so I can pay for my summer semesters. But I was constantly putting myself in these uncomfortable positions and situations and environments because towards the end of it all, it actually allowed me to drastically grow. I also used to have a fear of speaking in large groups. One of the ways that broke me out of that fear was actually attending this Ronald E. McNair program, which is an awesome program. Drop one of the clue bombs for that program. It's a program for minorities to get a sense and knowledgeable on how grad school works and how that whole entire process of getting to grad school work. We have to do these presentations on a weekly basis on how our research study is going with our mentor and what progress that we made. And it was like a big presentation towards the end of that whole entire program, which was like a whole year program. But when I first presented, I remember this exactly. My legs were shaking and I was sweating underneath my armpits. And pretty much I was, you know, scared out of my mind because I'm not exactly sure. But it was a very uncomfortable situation. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that program to get out of that comfortability of not talking or just being behind the grounds or behind the scenes kind of person. It wasn't until someone told me this, when you have purpose and conviction behind what you have to say, there's no need to fear. And over the span of that whole entire program, little by little, my fear went away. Occasionally, you know, it's there, but it was 
is completely gone in the sense that my armpits don't get sweaty anymore and my legs don't shake when I go in front of big crowds and talking in front of a big audience. Because now I have purpose and conviction behind what I have to say. So yeah, it's really awesome. Well, this seat is kind of uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go back to the couch. All right, back, back at it again. I'm gonna get back into this topic. So going back to the whole speaking and getting over my fear and everything. So during that whole entire time, you know, being uncomfortable of actually speaking and everything in front of everyone on a weekly basis, but little by little, you know, getting over that fear and it just came and brought me to the realization staying uncomfortable was the way to go. And if I wanted to grow, I need to continue to stay uncomfortable. And this in a sense kind of strengthened my delay of gratification even more because I was always searching for the larger reward towards in the end. This could be a good thing, it could be a, a bad thing. Not exactly sure at the moment, but I feel like as I continue to delay my gratification of these instant things that I can easily get, the journey is way more important than the actual reward. Because the reward, in a sense, really doesn't really satisfy me. It's just the growth in between that journey and the reward. That's the most satisfying part. I believe there will be a time when I sit back and I actually completely enjoy the fruits of my labor kind of thing. And I kind of do that little by little here and there. Take breaks, go on vacation, and spend time with the family. And that's really important to me. However, I still have big dreams. And the only thing that's really keeping me from the dreams is a lot of work. Shout out to Casey. So that's the reason why I go back to the couch as a reminder to stay on comfortable. <laughs>